everyone so now we are going to have a look at how we can build a web crawler right in this case what we uh, did as of now is we gave some hard coded urls right but suppose you want to get those urls automatically you start from a website and then you find some links in that page let's say th this there is a next button which basically takes you to the next page right and maybe again you want to go to the next page and scrape all the urls we want to basically automate the process without knowing the number of urls you want to scrap so you want to scrap this entire website and this is how we can uh, we are going to see that how recursively we can keep on making requests and we can scrap all the web pages from all the scores from all the web pages in this website right so first of all i'm again going to start with the uh creepy shell so what we can do here is let's open up the scrapey shell and make a request on the page one right so from the page one you need to first see where is where is a link to the next page so this is the next page right and now let's inspect this next button it contains uh, okay. yeah so it's in inside a class uh, un, uh, uh, unordered list which is having a class pager and again it contains an element called li which has this next as the class what and inside that you have a anchor tag right so what we can do is we can select this anchor tag which is there inside this class right what i need to do in in my shell is i need to say response dot css in the li tag which has a next class choose the anchor tag right and call the get method so this gives you the next button right so in this you also have a reference to the page 2 so you know know the url for the page 2 and now thing is how do we extract this page 2 as the url right for that again you have a uh, way to select attributes so earlier we used to select this text which gives you next but if you want to select a particular attribute of this for example you want to select the href attribute so you can say attr which stands for attribute and here you give href so this gives you the url for the next page right so the attribute property you can select and another way to select this property is by saying okay go give me the anchor tag and i will get the attribute property using the attrib method which accepts this also gives me the page 2 right so now let's see how we can recursively make requests from a given page to the next page and so on right so I'm going to this link and let's modify the code a little bit right so in the starting suppose I only know the first URL this is what I know and I make a request okay. and in my parse method right in my parse method I'm going to say uh, this is the response from the first page right so this is the past response from the first page and I'm going to say if there is a next page or not so I'm going to say response.css and in li.next I select the URL for the next page and I call the get method so you can see if next page is not null right if next page is not none right? you can say next page equals to response dot url join and here you give the 
and again you called field grep dot request and you call next page and call back going to be self dot So what this URL join method does is it basically uh, uh, builds an entire URL right by using this relative URL right. So this contains a relative URL, and again we start making a request. It's a HTTP request. We get some response, and when the response comes, we call this parse method, which again sees if there is a next page. Let's make a request, and this goes on until the last page is there, right? Okay, so let's try to run this code now. So. Minus O and uh, all ports dot JSON. This this is name of the spider is code. Okay, if page is not none, this should be is. If page is not so you can see it it is uh, crawling all the pages and the output is getting stored in all, all code stored JSON and you can see this file is having more number of codes than our code stored JSON file right so it had only twenty. And it has more number of. So this is how you can uh, recursively parse more number of pages and build a mini web crawler, right? So that's all for this video, guys. Thanks a lot. See you in the next part.